Homeland Secure of uh, HHS Health and Human Services, Sylvia Burwell. It's expected they will talk a great deal about some p potential changes to Obamacare in 2018. Now, let me explain very quickly why. Enrollment is simply nowhere near what the Congressional Budget Office thought it would be. Initial estimates were pretty high. They're actually enrolling at about half that number. Now, what that means is higher costs for those of you who take part, and for the insurers, it means they're losing money, Brett, and we're not talking tens of millions of dollars. We're talking to the tune of billions with a B, billions of dollars. New analysis by the Kaiser Family Foundation shows that a third of Obamacare exchange customers will only have a single insurer offering for the upcoming year, and that means many insurers have simply stopped offering plans uh, altogether. Let me just share some of the big losses. I think this will probably surprise you as well. Uh, United Health Group announced that they lost a billion dollars for 2015 and 2016. Healthcare Service Corp, well north of two billion in the first two years. Highmark, $600 million in 2015 alone, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina projected losses of $400 million in just the first two years. But as you can well imagine, Brett, the White House is pushing back. They say Obamacare is still working, especially for the tens of millions of newly insured Americans who depend on it. The administration is focused on making sure that we realize the potential around the marketplaces to expand choice and opportunity for people all across the country. Uh, and what is clear is that the vast majority of people all across the country will have access to a plan that costs $75 a month or less. All right, so that sounds good, at least in theory, right? But here's the problem for consumers. As more commercial insurers, Brett, begin to bail on Obamacare, they're being replaced increasingly by HMOs, that are the uh, uh, health maintenance organizations. That means fewer choices typically, and on occasion that means higher costs for the American people, and that's not exactly what the president sold the American people when he was pitching this idea a few years ago. And just to drill down very quickly, in Tennessee, to give you a very quick example, uh, there is a commissioner there, uh, Julie Mix, uh, McPeak, who is suggesting that the exchange in her state is, quote, very near collapse because of the increasing rates that are being asked for and granted. Some of these insurance companies, Cigna up 46%, Humana up 44 Blue Cross Blue Shield, Brett, up a whopping 62%. Those are massive rate increases that get simply passed on to the consumer. Again, tomorrow the president will talk to the uh, HHS secretary. Of course, I'll bring you all the details right here. Back to you. Okay, we'll have it. Kevin Cork live on the North Lawn. Kevin, thank you.